All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today is another super windy day out here in the uh, mid southwest area. Um, so, we're doing the intro in the car again, unfortunately, but uh, it's just the way it is. So, today I am at Palo Jero Canyon State Park in uh, just outside of Amarillo, Texas, and we are going to be hiking the Lighthouse Trail. So, this is a trail that I hiked a few months back and uh, really enjoyed it and thought it would make a good video. Uh, it's a pretty popular trail out here and um, some really cool rock formations and stuff you can see along the way. So, uh, figured you guys might want to come along. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, right from the trailhead here, first thing you're going to see is this cute little sign with a not so cute message. Uh, it says, Live to hike another day, responsible, not rescued. And then it tells you to buy some water from them. Uh, don't have to buy water from them, but definitely want to bring water with you on this hike. It gets hot out here. The, I was here in, uh, you know, it's January right now, but uh, it does get really, really hot. Even when I was here in September, I think it hit 80 degrees and it was like 35 degrees when I started hiking in the morning that day. So it gets really hot. You definitely want to stay hydrated. They also have some signs. Just pick up the litter. Uh, it's a popular trail, and there's a lot of people, unfortunately, that leave trash. Just don't be that guy. Pick up after yourself. So shortly after you start the hike here, we get to this little uh, this little rise. Um, it's just a cool spot to kind of check out the views and see what you're going to be looking at for the majority of your hike. But uh, you can go ahead and climb up there, get a nice little look at Capitol Peak, which is one of the optional peaks you can climb off trail if you so choose. Uh, another thing I like out here is they've got a bunch of these shaded benches set up. So there's no real natural shade. The trees just aren't tall enough, but they do have some areas set up so you can get under some cover just in case. That's Capitol Peak up there. Another thing to keep in mind is these are multi-use trails. So you can see mountain bikes, you can see horseback riders. Uh, this is me getting distracted by some, some rocks. I think this is gypsum. I'm not a geologist, so I'm probably wrong, but I think it's gypsum. I think it's called gypsum. So here's Capitol Peak. Uh, there's a sign right here. That's how you'll be able to tell, but you can kind of see the path that leads up there. Uh, it's a pretty easy climb. Currently up here on top of Capitol Peak. I'm just kind of straddling this little wedge because either side it's just <laughs> down. <laughs> and I'm gonna hike somewhere over there today. Yeah, so sorry about the vertical video, but that's the only video I had. I didn't climb Capitol Peak today because it's super, super windy. And as you can see, the top of that peak is very small. Um, and I just didn't feel very comfortable with it. So you got a vertical video. I'm sorry, that's all I had. But uh, it's a little sketchy up there. Fairly easy to get up, though. So um, This trail is really easy to follow. For the most part, there are some areas where the trail kind of splits into two, but it pretty much always just rejoins itself. Uh, so unless you start going down one of the... Uh, one of the stream beds or something, you're really not going to get lost. You really don't need, like, a map and compass out here with you. It's a pretty well-traveled trail. You should be able to follow it. And the stream beds look totally different than the trail. So even if you got onto one of the stream beds, you would know you weren't on the trail anymore. It The, the whole thing looks different. So overall, the trail surface is really good. There's your first view of the, uh, the lighthouse out there. Another thing I like here is they do these mile markers on their trails at Paladero. So every tenth of a mile, there's a marker, which is really nice to let you know how far you've been, how far you have to go, all that. There's some of that trash I was talking about. But yeah, trail service is really nice. So for the most part, it's either just packed dirt, sandy. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of gravel. That's Castle Peak up there. It's another optional hike. I'll show you how to get there. 
Then there are some areas like this where it's a little washed out. Um, unfortunately, that's that's what happens. It's only going to get worse over the years. But uh, still easy to follow and not too bad. Um, definitely not as bad as some of the other hikes I've been doing lately. So, All right, guys. So I'm here at the base of Lighthouse Peak. Um, so over here you can see there's a sign. And harder, easier. So there are two trails to get up to the top. Um, personally, I would go up the easy trail, or sorry, up the hard trail, down the easy trail, or just down and up the easy trail. Uh, the reason I say that is the hard trail has a lot of this like loose sand and gravel, um, and it's pretty slippery. So uh, I'm gonna go up it in a second, and what you're gonna see is, you'll see me go up the easy trail. I'm gonna come down the hard trail, against my own recommendations because I did it the opposite last time and I just kind of want to see what it's like. So um, stay tuned for that and we'll see you at the top. All right, so here's that easy trail. So it says easy and hard trail. It really should say like easier trail or less hard trail. It's not, it's still not an easy trail. Um, it's just easier than the other one. So, um, like I said, pick your poison, go up the hard one, down the easy one, go up and down the easy one, go up the easy one, down the hard one if you're feeling adventurous. Yeah, it's up to you, but... Um, <laughs> just before this clip, I actually scared the crap out of a group of like college age girls. Uh, I walked up behind them, and the last person in the group let me pass, and then the next person in the group thought that I was their friend, and then turned around to say something to me, and then <laughs> jumped and like almost fell down the side of the mountain. It's a little bad, but it, it was pretty funny. Um, so, sorry. I doubt you're going to watch this video anyways, but uh, sorry for scaring the crap out of you. Um, and here's what I was talking about. This is not an easy trail. You do get a view there, but like, it's still not an easy trail. There's still a lot of climbing you have to do. But once you get done with that climb, boom, lighthouse is straight ahead of you. Nice, flat, easy path. So just walk on over, climb up the last little bit, and then you're at this beautiful flat open area. Perfect for doing like a picnic lunch, hanging out. Unless it's super windy like today, in which case you go up there and take your pictures and then you get back off because you're going to get blown off the dang mountain. Um, yeah, just jump right up here and boom. This is what I'm talking about. Nice flat area. The last time I was here it was super calm, no wind. And I just sat up there for, I don't know, half an hour and ate my lunch and You can get up to the top of that section um, I just showed you, which is so behind me now. Um, there's a path around the uh, the right side. You have to do a little bit of rock climbing, but it's not too bad. And then this is the route you would take to get up to Castle Peak, which I think has like the best views of the lighthouse. Um, Definitely worth going up there just to get good pictures of the lighthouse. So, And then this is the hard route down. So you can see it's a lot steeper. Uh, I just slipped there. There's a lot of like loose sand and gravel and rocks. and So it's definitely a little bit more challenging. Um, just in the sense that you have to be really careful because you're going to slip. So just you just got to be careful. And it's not really shorter than the easy trail. It's a little bit shorter, maybe a tenth of a mile or something, but um, they're almost the same distance. So you might as well just do, do the easy trail and not go on the one that's going to make you break your leg. So another thing to keep in mind out here, I had zero cell service the entire time I was at Palagero. I got like one bar if I went up to the parking lot near the gate. But aside from that, I had no service, so just keep that in mind. If you're planning on checking in with someone, you might not be able to do that.
But once we're down off the sketchy stuff, it's just a short little walk back out to the picnic table. And then we're done. Um, picnic table is also a great place to leave your friends who are afraid of heights and don't want to climb up either of the trails. Just a note. All right, guys, so I'm hoping the wind uh, dies down long enough for me to record this outro. It's been pretty windy on this hike today. Uh, I'm in a little secluded area, so hopefully we can get this outro done. So uh, overall impressions, uh, it's a pretty good trail. So overall, about seven miles long, um, out and back, and like 850 feet of elevation gain. Um, you'll see I pointed out a couple of side hikes you can do that will add to the total, obviously. But uh, I think it's a pretty cool hike. Great views up at the top, not too difficult. You do have that hard climb right at the end, but the rest of the trail is pretty much flat. So if you get about a three mile approach trail that's flat, you know, that last half a mile, you gotta work a little bit. So overall, um, I'm gonna give this hike a rating of uh, seven for worth it. Um, it's really the only kind of hiking in the area and the only thing you can really climb any elevation. And then overall difficulty, I'm give it about a five. So, um, worth it, seven, difficulty five, overall score, two. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time. I got more hikes planned this weekend, so there's gonna be a bunch of videos out after this one. See you later. A little bonus peak action for you guys. So I'm standing on a good night peak. Just checking out the sunset. Wouldn't even die down long enough for me to do some video. Thanks for watching, guys.